you know, I think the sustainability thing for us was super important. We were three months from going bankrupt in 2018. Everything was sort of like we were building a brand. We brought in an MD. He was like, you've got a brand, but you're making no money mm. and you're running out of money. Mm. So, you know, it's great that you've got people holding your product, but what now? Mm. Um, and, you know, we had, we fought, fell, fell into the trap of just being very London centric and getting the same accounts that everyone gets, like the Whole Foods and the Selfridges, which are nice to have, but don't make a lot of money mm. you need you know to get that to, to, to make money you need everything you need the f1s you need the universities you need the hotels you need yeah. the airlines you need everything you need yeah. scale you need scope it's like full distribution across yeah everything. and we didn't have that yeah. so what we basically did was we just for, we, we had three months to live and we basically put our whole time and energy into building this distribution model and no one wanted to listen to us no one everyone was just like yeah you've called us you've called us you've called us uh, sat down with one of the owners of one of the biggest brands in the country who literally laughed us out of the room. He was like, you're never going to get to Tesco. You've got a good looking product. Is that a brand in your space? No, it, not in water, but it's, a, it's the, one Dream of the biggest spot. brands in the country. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he was just like, and it was sad because he's a big entrepreneur as well. One of the, like, the biggest entrepreneurial brands. And he basically just said, I just don't think it's going to work, guys. And it was a massive blow. You know, that's one where it's hard to ignore. It is because again, back to what I said before, is you would if you want their opinion, you're gonna really of the course advice is gonna hit hard. Yeah. And that's where that you kind of like it. you know, I don't listen to the crap. And then if you do want to listen exactly. to it, it's yeah, painful. Like, that's like a dagger, right? And it's good to it's listen, it's good to hear it. Um didn't stop you though. Didn't stop me. Um, and I got invited to their head office six months ago to, to tell all their creative and marketing team how to build an organic brand, which nice. is quite funny. Um, but on the last month of the three months, David Attenborough did Blue Planet. And we went from being the most stupid idea and just a fad to basically selling 12 million cans in 2019, which... So was what, just, do you mean, what happened with David Rattenborough? He, he, did did, the, he, he was on Blue Planet. Yeah. And he talked about plastic pollution. And there was an episode of a whale that was basically, that it had died and its child was basically crying in the water. And it, and it was horrible. Yeah. yeah. And everyone basically went from, oh my God, we can't sell plastic anymore. And started going on the same journey that we had gone when we first started the brand. And they all landed at the same thing. Aluminium is better than plastic. And that was it. And that was it. And that was the first time ever where it was like, and I felt that feeling that I felt with high frequency of like, okay, wow, we've got something here. Mm. And, um, you know, it, it all went great. 2019, best year was just amazing. Um, and then COVID and everything just went to shit, basically. Like every brand in our space. Yeah. We had just built, we'd built the most incredible distribution mm. and then it all just turned off overnight. So the year of like growth just slowed down enormously. But it helped us in a way because we were running like before we could walk, really. I was going to say, because I think in kind of talking off camera, you, you were speaking about growing really fast and how that changed a lot of the business yeah. and the way it was set up and things like that. Was that around that time? It was around that time and we were just growing and growing and growing. Um, but we were still a tiny team, yeah. like four of us. Like it was yeah. just crazy. Um, and... The burnout was horrendous. You know, we were all arguing about things because it was all just, it was all like sleepless nights and just fear of like, when you go from nothing to something, you're petrified of losing everything. And like, because we had nothing before and now, now we had something, it's like, how do you keep it? So we just did everything in our power but 2020 just yeah as i said like just hit us horrendously um and that was another time in my life where as a founder like and as a human i had to sort of i had to use the tools that i used as a kid that i'd learned mm. you know where i actually was I, I i wouldn't say i was okay but i was better than i would have been had i ne never have gone through all the things that as a kid you're still moving forward yeah 